Hey guys, welcome to Automotive Technica. This is your host Yogesh, and my call sign is VU three PZJ. That is Victor Umbrella three Papa Zulu Juliet. And in this video, I'm going to explain the equipments needed to set up a ham radio station. So the first thing is the power supply, the ham radio. So this is yet to be assembled. This is micro Britex from HF signals. Uh, they are currently into the Lamakan 4, uh, LARC4, which is uh, a very well organized event in Hyderabad. And uh, they do have uh, an option to get these uh, to buy from their website as well. So HF signals does uh, these kind of uh, radios which is a uh, micro bitex which is covering all the hf band this is version uh, 6.0 so this has got uh, a touch screen uh, which is uh, which is on the microcontroller and the motherboard uh, with the radio components is inside and on the back side we have a bnc connector that is for the antenna so you should not touch the internal uh, internal uh, leg of the antenna because uh, the IR, IRF uh, 510 uh, MOSFETs are very sensitive uh, to the electromagnetic uh, discharges. So this is the volume control and the tuning knob will be uh, placed later on. So these are, this is the kit which I am yet to assemble it. The wattage of this radio is uh, 10 watts. At the maximum it can pump up when the SWR is matched up to 10 watts. So this is a full band HF radio receiver and the second one is uh, what I have is the base station that is DR635 uh, Alinko. This is VHF and UHF both ham bands are covered and I am going to power these radios by this power supply which is nothing but a linear. I will just start and show it to you. So this is the one uh, which I am very much impressed about this uh, a power supply because one of my friend has done it uh, he uh, does this power supply and I requested him to make one power supply for me the rating which I gave in him is like approximately 16 amps and approximately to 16 volts it can go but because this is a variable power supply and this is very heavy here approximately uh, 10 plus to 15 kgs I believe because this is the transformer what they are using is uh, for uh, the linear power supply and there are a lot of uh, other transistors which give a constant power supply with a regulated voltage and uh, that is uh, a variable. So I'll just start it a power supply and show it to you. So before that uh, to possess these radios you should have a license that means a, a ham license which can start from the restricted grade to general grade in India and uh, believe me so these are uh, very sophisticated instruments and uh, you need to take care of this so starting with the power supply the power supply is a linear so i had set it to 13.8 volts and there is a coarse current also i can set this current to a maximum or limit it to a particular value so that uh, if there is any short circuit it trips off so that is one uh, what i see here is like a red color lug which is for the positive uh, black is for the negative and green is the earthing. So you can have a earthing if your house is not properly earth. You need to take care that it is earth properly and ensure that the third three pin of the socket which is going to the power supply is properly well connected. So that protects you and your equipment uh, from any other uh, electrostatic damages as well as the leakage current from the body. Well, uh, this is what the power supply is. Uh, this one was uh, uh, assembled with a special request from my friend. Uh, he is in Mathi Kere. His uh, company is known as uh, Renown Systems and he does a uh, lot of other work on uh, the solid state and uh, uh, the power electronics. Uh, he is the one who gave me a quotation and he said, I can do a power supply for you. That is what I wanted is a linear one. And that too I recommended uh, to make a power supply for me with 30 amps uh, but he said it will be too bulky and initially he can do it uh, 16 amps uh, power supply for me that is a linear one because I do not want it to have a, a switch uh, mode power supply for uh, HF radio because HF radios are so sensitive to the power supply all the hum and every noise can be 
transmitted through the transmitter of this HF radio. And uh, the VHF and UHF can take the SMPS power supply, but since I have already a linear power supply, I can use the linear power supply uh, for both of them. So it can take the load and uh, the maximum wattage of this uh, uh, is uh, 50 watts, but I transmit it within uh, 5 watts. So that should not be a problem. And this maximum wattage is uh, 10 watts. Some frequencies might uh, deliver at 5 watts. If you match it well, it can go up to 10 watts. Now, if you want to add an amplifier, see 100 watt amplifier, this power supply can take uh, a maximum wattage up to 100 watts with this HF and the HF output, uh, the transmitting output can be connected to the amplifier which is nothing but the RF linear amplifier and this can communicate to all over the world. In 7 MHz band you can have a local stations and in 14 MHz the lot of uh, uh, global stations in ham band. So that's a uh, uh, overview of uh, uh, my introduction of my ham station which I'm going to rig it up as soon as possible. So main thing is the power supply. This is the mother of all the power supply unit and I have places in such a way that I have created a cabinet here on my desk and the, the output of this will be powered and my radios will be installed here in this deck. The antennas will be coming out from the top of the roof. The antenna wires and cables and one is the Slim Jim, one is the J-Pole and one is the omnidirectional antenna which can capture uh, from the signals from all the directions and that will be connected for the VHF and the J-Pole which I have constructed is a dual band for VHF and uh, UHF. This will be connected to this uh, Alinco DR635. So coming to uh, the power supply, if you want to uh, do such kind of power supplies, you can contact uh, uh, Mr. Prajish who is uh, owning this company and he helped me in getting this power supply well done and well assembled in time. Uh, he might take uh, some uh, time to get the components and get it assembled and testing course is much important. So he will ask you for that particular uh, time period uh, so that he can deliver the best product to you. And he gives a warranty of uh, uh, whatever the uh, he can give upon the product has been sold and he takes care of any uh, issues of the product in going future. So there is no problem with the product. It works well and work well. I tested it on uh, dummy resistive loads and I am happy with this product. Well, uh, you can make your uh, own power supply uh, but this has got uh, protection from everything. Okay, uh, so time to wind up. Uh, this is a short video on rigging up my ham radio station with one HF radio of full band yet to be assembled and one base station of UHF and VHF base station from Alinco DR635 stay tuned for further update this is your host Victor Ambarilala 3 Papa Zulu Juliet that is VU3 Papa Zulu Juliet my handle is Yogesh and please do hit the subscribe button for this channel Automotive Technica this will make me motivated for making such more videos and don't forget to push the thumbs up button. Stay blessed.